Hello all, as promised this is the video that's going to go into me ranting and just being totally just fuck about Koro dying. Okay, I haven't been in the fandom for 15 years. I discovered the anime when it was playing on Cartoon Network, but I discovered the manga long before then in my local library. And it was either the late 90s or the early 2000s. It was the early 2000s I discovered it. I, did, I don't remember. But anyway. So, I mean, you'd think I'd be used to Quora dying by now. Because even though I haven't been in the fandom as long as so many others have. I've seen most stuff. that Most, you know, mainstream stuff like the comics and whatnot. I just, I've read Apocalypse Campus and so on. Uh, I just, it's just something that I'm sick of. It, it's just okay so in the original series Ray dies because she's an angel but then it's like she has the privilege of getting cloned and Koro dies and it's like this consistent thing that Koro just has to die no matter what's going on with him even though Ray can have like the same situation for example Apocalypse Campus <laughs> Koro is an angel Ray's an angel too but for some reason, it's just Quora that has to die. And Ray gets to live. And I just don't see how that's even fair or understandable. And, it, you know, I'm a Quora Shinji person, so... I mean, it's, it's, it's totally fucked up to me. It may not be fucked up to anyone else, but it's fucked up to me. And then, um, what the worst thing that happened was the girlfriend of Steel Manga. I don't remember which one it was, but it was, um, at the end, they all had to go to separate countries, and Shinji went with Asuka to a different country and then when they all came back Kaworu wasn't there but it was like none of them remembered him and it's like they all took a picture before they left and as Shinji was looking at the picture Kaworu faded out of the picture and he was trying to remember who it was as the image was fading so he didn't even really die as much as he didn't exist in the first place and I'm like how the fuck is that fair and but girl grand you know girlfriend of steel is terrible anyway but that was just like, as a Kaworu fan, that was just, ugh, the most ultimate piss off thing you can do. And <laughs> I think the only one where Kaworu do <laughs> doesn't die is the chibi one. But the chibi one has a game that I have not played. That's the only part of the franchise I have not got tr even tried to get into because I'm in the United States fandom is the game part is pretty much possible for me uh, with my resources lack of resources and whatnot and even if I could it just for me it just be kinda like too much trouble I can stick with the domestic games we have over here and have plenty of time and fun doing that instead of having to try to get stuff overseas and whatnot but that's a different story for a different time um, it's just it's tragic. It's always tragic, no matter how lame it is, as a fan. But I get I don't I don't even see how it's necessary. And it's unfair and I'm just I'm just gonna be like crying in tears because yet again we have to lose Koru and this time it's like he's not being a menace, he's trying to help. But I guess after Apocalypse Campus, I guess that we just go to show if you're not Ray, even when you're trying to help, you're you're gonna die. Now, I'm wondering where's the series where they're gonna kill somebody else, like you know, kill As. Well, you know what? Another thing, Asuka died. Well, I don't know, quote unquote, died in the first series, and it's like, Korra's the Why is Korra the only one that has to consistently suffer death, no matter what it is? Well, okay. In the games, I have yet to see him die. I mean, I think there, there's a whole bunch of games. There's one where he has, like, the option of dying and the option of not dying and the option of staying. But then it's, like, the Girlfriend of Steel game, he doesn't die. But what pisses me off about the Girlfriend of Steel game is that where else Shinji marries everyone else, he can't marry Koro for some reason. And that's, that's fucked up. And there's just so much wrong with it. I was like, I, I kind of want to, at this point, 
so many years later, I kind of want to call homophobia. I kind of do, and I think that that should be understandable to people that know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> that would be like, on, on another side of the scale, that would be like way too serious for some fictional stuff. And the only thing that you can pretty much not find Koro dying in is like the fandom part. But canon, that, that poor individual handsome fellow just must perish for some reason. But that's my rant on that. Thank you. Bye.